Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create rules in Gmail to filter your emails. We'll show you how to access the filter, and how to set it up to organize your emails and keep your inbox tidy. There are three ways to start creating a filter. The first is to click on the three dots buttons inside an existing email, and click filter messages like this. The second way is to go to the filters and blocked addresses section of Gmail, in settings. And the third way is to use the advanced search box, which can be accessed from the Gmail search bar by clicking the search tools icon to the right. Once you reach the search box, you need to select which search criteria you will specify for that email. The more granular and exact you can get, the better the filter will work. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory, but there are two tips to keep in mind. First, try to enclose phrases inside speech marks. Second, has the words, and doesn't have include words inside the body of the email, not just the subject title. Once you've specified the search criteria, click Create Filter. When you do this, you'll be asked to specify what should happen to the email when one arrives that meets all of the specified criteria. Tick the boxes for all the ones you want, there's no limit to how many you can choose. However, be careful that one option doesn't conflict with another. Please note that if you select forward it to or send template, you must make the forwarding address or template first. Otherwise, when you attempt to make them from this menu, you will be taken away to the appropriate Gmail section, and all your filter settings will be wiped. You will see the links to create templates in Gmail and how to set up email forwarding in the description below this video. The box also detects how many emails in your account already meet the specified criteria. This is shown at the bottom at also apply filter to. You can then decide whether to apply the filter to those emails or only for future ones. When you have chosen all of your options, click create filter. Now go to filters and blocked addresses, scroll down to the bottom of the filter list, and see if your new filter is there. If you have a set of filters you want to transfer to another Gmail account, you can export them out of the first account, and import them into the other. Go to filters and blocked addresses, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and click select all. This will select every filter on the page. Click export to download a mailfilters.xml file to your computer. Now, go to your other Gmail account, go to filters and blocked addresses, and click import filters. Navigate to the XML file on your computer and upload it. Finish the import by clicking on create filter. That's it. Creating filters is a great way to keep your inbox organized and save time. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. 